Greetings, fellow artists, and welcome. Jay here. I'm here to save you from making the same mistakes I've made. And to save you some money with a few cheap, cheap art tips. So today we're going to make cold porcelain. And there ain't no way to get her did but to do her. Why cold porcelain? Well, you can make a lot of really cool things out of cold porcelain. And by the way, hot porcelain has to be fired in a kiln at over 2,000 degrees. And I don't have a kiln, and I ain't going to do that, because imagine the electricity bill. But why make cold porcelain? Because you can make a lot of cool things, like the sea turtle diorama, the kelpie, the gourdy birds whose bodies are actually made of gourds. But gee, does it break? Well, this rose topiary fell off a shelf and pot smashed all over the place, but the flowers were fine. Here's the ingredients, and they're all cheap. Mix one cup of glue. Elmer's white is fine. One cup of cornstarch. Two tablespoons of oil. Two teaspoons of vinegar. And beat the living out of it. You'll end up with a nasty, sticky mess. You dump this nasty, sticky mess in a non-stick pan. At the temperature about low to medium somewhere, turn it and flip it around like an omelet till it's a lump. Then turn your lump out onto a cornstarch dusted board and knead it till it's silky about 150 times like bread. When you're done, you got a little ball, oil the surface, put it in a bag, and voila, you just saved about 15 bucks and it goes a long way. Keep it covered though when you're not working on it. You can color it by kneading in oil, acrylic, or whatever colors you have. Just remember that it gets a little darker as it dries. I just leave mine white and paint it at the end. And that's it. And remember, it's not a screw up if it's a learning experience. Have a great week.